Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my baby girl's nursery tour. It's a really simple, we've tried to do her nursery really inexpensively. I think you guys will like it. I know I love it. Um, if you like videos like this, be sure to click subscribe and I'll just get straight into this video. So this is the walkway to Lilith's bedroom and currently, right now, the camera is showing up this pink wall really, really well. Um, but it's an absolutely lovely, just really light pink which I love and it was the exact colour I wanted for in this room. And then we have these two bookshelves, um, I'm not sure if they were bookshelves or like photo shelves or something, um, but I picked them up from B&M and they were, uh, I think they were £4 each, £3.99 each, but I really love them and I put them at these different levels just because I thought it added something a bit more than just like putting them all in one line. And then on this wall as well we have Lilith's wardrobe and we've got like a few things up there but we'll ignore that for now. Um, her wardrobe was super inexpensive, I'll try and find the price if I can and see if they still have it. But it was the Aldi Mamiya wardrobe um, which was really good and I bought it a long time ago, I think I was around 20 weeks when I bought this, um, so well over a year old. And yeah, I just really like how it's got two poles, then it's got this shelf up here as well. And then it's also got a drawer, which we're not actually using at the moment. Um, and the wardrobe just needs, like, setting up and everything. It's just all kind of been shoved in there. And this is Lilith's Kath Kitson Satchel um, backpack, school bag thing um, that I use sometimes as a change of bag. It looks really nice, I feel like, on this wardrobe. Um, so that's where we keep that. Then coming over to this wall, we have just a blanket slash toy bench thing, which I do cover with a blanket, as you can see. Um, and in it, we just have more soft teddies and toys. Um, we have quite a collection of toys downstairs. So I brought some upstairs just so when I'm getting ready in the morning, she has some to play with. Um, this was given to me by my mum, so I have no idea what it is where it's from um, but it does go with all of her furniture which is why I agreed to have it. Then directly above this toy bench we have this dream catcher which I absolutely love. I think it's so pretty um, and it was again I think it was like £3, £4 from B&M. As a kid I always loved my dream catcher so I wanted to get one for Lilith. Then coming over we have this um, what's it called, like a storage bin unit, whatever. And we have one of the bins here, we do have a spare one which has got some puzzles in. And then I keep baby grows, vests, bibs, um, stuff like that in these bins. Um, I actually need to switch these over. This is her vest that she's currently in. These are some baby grows that were the previous size. This is her current size baby grow bin. And then this one's got like bib clasps, bibs, um, muslin squares as well. I think this whole unit came from Ikea. Um, I'll try and find it if I can. But this is our memory box um, that I bought from TK Maxx. I don't think it's meant to be a memory box, um, but I really liked it. I like the colors. And when Lilith gets too big and I need to move it into my room, it's still like a really good size as well. Um, so we keep that on there. Bottles don't live here, um, but that's where they currently are. Then on this shelf we have a, what is this? It's like a, a um, memory cup sort of thing, like a baby girl. We then have this really pretty storage basket thing. I have had this for years and when I were, when we moved in and I was sorting everything out, I didn't need it. So I've put it into Lilith's bedroom and as she gets older she'll probably end up putting like her brushes and hair bands and stuff in it. But for now we've got baby wipes and some lotions and I do keep her brush in there but I don't know where it is at the moment. Um, and then on this very top shelf we have her shoes. I just think it's really accessible if they're here. I like having them on show so I know what they are instead of in the wardrobe. And there's a couple shoes that I need to bring up. This is Lilith's uh, baby camera which is really really good and I'm going to try and link it down below. It's from Amazon. It all connects up to my phone. If Dan's at work, he can see it as well while he's at work, which is really cool. Then moving on to the window wall, um, you can see the fire station from her bedroom. But we have these grey lined curtains. I hope these show up. 
Um, this is what they look like. They are lined and I think they suit Lilith's room really well. We, me and Dan have a pair in like cream in our bedroom and I thought the grey would look better in here than in my room. So the grey have come in here and then we have these prints up here. I got these for the bedroom and um, once I had the wallpaper all put up I didn't actually, you know I wasn't too sure what I wanted to do with these. I didn't want to make everything too busy. So I've kind of put them up there. I'm actually kind of liking it. Um, but yeah, I think these were just from Poundland, so um, that's that. And this is her lampshade. Again, I can't tell you where this is from. This was in my little sister's bedroom um, at my mum's, and she's grown up and given it to Lilith. Uh, and same goes for this rug as well. This was um, Maddie's as well, but we've got it now for Lilith's room, which is really cute. And it's a really actual thick rug, um, so I love it. Then coming onto the last wall, the gorgeous wallpapered wall. I absolutely love it. Um, I'll get a close up of it in a minute. This is where her cot is and I have a rocking chair, a really old one down in the shed, but I can't actually get to it at the moment, but it will come up here eventually. Um, but yeah, this is her cot. It's from the same range, uh, range as the Aldi wardrobe <laughs> with the under bed storage and it converts into a toddler bed as well. Um, and I really love it. I've super inexpensive easy to put together it's got the bike rails on it and then this sheet is from Ikea along with this pillow she's also got a duvet and m another pillow in the um, in the drawer underneath but we just don't use it we just have her Ollie the owl up here in this corner which I absolutely love um, but yeah that's pretty much it for my baby girl's bedroom. I love it. I just feel like it's really simple. There's not much to it um, and it's gonna just go really well as she grows up. So here is a close-up of the wallpaper. You can see it's got a glitter in it which I think is absolutely beautiful and I just really like it. I feel like it's not too too um, childish. I feel like it's quite a nice wallpaper um, and if I could I'd have it in my bedroom. So that is everything for Lilith's nursery. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.